Hi everyone, Gunshy Mori here with another mod review where today we are going to be looking at Lapis Lazuli's Majungasaurus. Now as I understand it as well, this is Lapis's first mod on Arc Ascended and there are plenty more planned so do keep an eye out. Now to start out with, the Majungasaurus will spawn in the jungles and grasslands on the island and on the center and they will also rarely spawn in the dunes of scorched earth. Now, the Majungasaurus is also a typically slow creature and will only aggro onto creatures that get too close to it. However, though, if any creatures that are nearby it are injured, it will go into a blood frenzy mode, and this will give it an increased speed and an increased damage, up to 50% depending on how low the creature's health is. Now, they also have a parasitic saliva, this can be harvested from dead Majungasauruses or even from tame Majungasauruses every five minutes. Now with this parasitic saliva, you can either consume it or you can use it to craft up a specialized tracking dart, which we will go over here later down the line when we get to the abilities. The Majungasaur also has a special variant that rarely spawns in or with a 1% chance of spawning from an egg known as the Majungacorn. Now this is a purely cosmetic change. All its stats are identical to the base version. The only thing different is, is that it has a nice little horn sticking up the top of its head. So now for those of you that are here for the spawn commands, I'm going to have them up on the screen now. So starting off with, we have the Majungasaur, the Majunga Corn, the Saliva, the Trank Dart, and the Saddle. So get those while they're up on the screen. You can also find those down in the description. Now before we begin, my settings are going to be hard with single player settings turned off just so that way we are as close to official as possible. Now the Majungasaurus is just a pretty straightforward tame, it's just a standard knockout. The only difference it has to any other normal knockout tame is it actually has a really high resistance to torpor. Now you could, in theory, with a good enough long neck, brute force it. But the actual way that you would get around this is by consuming their parasitic saliva. Now, what happens when you consume their saliva is the torpor is going to be doing the proper normal amount. And along with that, any Majungasaur nearby will automatically aggro onto you. So do keep that in mind. Now, before you consume the Majungasaur saliva, I highly recommend that you get a standard box trap built up. Now, this is just so that way you can have it contained and in somewhere safe while you knock it out. Just so that way, like, once it gets down low enough, it's not trying to run away and uh, gets into a bad spot, you know? Now, to begin here, it's pretty simple. Again, you just have to consume the saliva. Boom. As soon as I consume it, I'm going to get close enough to him. You're going to see his head pop up. That is him aggro onto you. That there is him aggroing. So I'm going to run back. I'm going to get up to this hill. They are a little slow. I will tell you that. They are they are some chunk, chunky boys. So they do take some time to actually get to you. I'm just trying to get him lined up with the trap right now. Now, best thing to do is quite literally just go stand in the back of your trap. As soon as he's in, bob to whichever direction he doesn't go and shut the trap on him. And like that, you now have your Majungasaur stuck in the trap. Now, while you still have that debuff on you, you're going to want to start tranking him. All right. Now, I am just using a primitive long neck here to knock him out. So this might take a little bit. It is a 150 and we are on official stats. Now also do keep in mind that when you get close to him, he can bite you. And also, you do also still have the debuff. So any other nearby Majungasaurs will aggro onto you if they get close enough. And now that you've gotten your Majungasaur knocked out, all that you have to do is wait here a little bit. And let it starve up, and then all you have to do is feed it some superior kibble. And now that my Majungosaur here is starved up, I can give it 
the superior kibble. Now it also takes the other standard carnivore meat, so you could give it mutton, prime meat, and raw meat in that order. And those should work as your next best options. So I would say there on official settings, it probably took about 12 kibble. I'm just going to give it one extra. Let's go, you know what, let's go with 13. Let's give it one or two extra just in case. So on official settings, that is what it took to tame a 150 Majungasaur. Now let's get a saddle for her and we'll test out the controls. So now for controls here on the Majungasaur, they are pretty simple. So we have a left click bite. This is just your standard bite. Now for your right click, this is the tracking bite. Now it hits twice and the Majungasaur bites down and infests the target with its parasitic saliva. And this actually applies a special infested debuff. Now we do actually have a C combat stance change. Uh, we'll get to that here later, but for another control that we have, as you can see, the Majungasaur does turn in place. And if I hit spacebar, I can toggle that. And I did not show you guys it turning in place very good because it does turn kind of slow. But if you hit spacebar, you can toggle the turn in place. Now, if you hit control slash alt, you will do the cosmetic roar ability. And yeah, now on to the actual stance change abilities. So starting out here for its combat stance, which is the one that we are in now, the one there with the tooth and the exclamation points. Now for this stance, the Majungasaur moves much slower. Um, its stamina drain is at the standard amount. Um, and its damage is also at the standard amount. Except when you consume a corpse, it will get that uh, healing buff from it that the Argentavises get, I believe. Now for the other stance, this is your tracking stance. Now in this stance, you will get re reduced stamina reduction, increased movement speed, and decreased damage. So yeah. Also, when you bite creatures with the parasitic bite, in this stance, you can see where they are anywhere on the map. And one last final note, as the Majungasaurs are breedable, you cannot breed a Majungasaur in a Majungacorn, but you are able to breed a Majungacorn in a Majungacorn together, as these two are technically two different variants, so of course you can only breed the variants with the same variant. Now, as stated at the beginning of the video, this is Lapis's first mod on Arc Ascended, and I gotta say... It is really awesome. There's a lot of work that went into this mod. And yeah, I'm going to tell you guys, go check it out. It is worth it. Um, I would also keep an eye out for any of her other mods that will release. Um, there isn't a public Discord, from what I could tell, that we could join. I looked on the Curse Forge page. Hopefully here sometime in the future, they will get a public Discord. So that way we can all hop in there and get notifications on when these creatures are going to come out and all that but yeah if you guys have found this guide helpful at all in any way please do remember to leave a like and subscribe also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting any new videos and yeah this has been gun shimori signing out Peace.